are any of you bothered by what you see people wearing? I mean, Christians, are you bothered by what Christians are wearing? Are you as Christian bothered by what you see Christians wearing? I don't mean just people who are in the public eye, not just your average television personality or gospel artist or what have you. No, I mean just even your garden variety member at church. What are they wearing? We've got women who are up singing wearing certain things. But we've also got women who are preaching. They shouldn't be there preaching, but look what they're wearing. Am I good enough? Am I not good enough if I'm not doing this? And don't get into the kids. Because when them kind of snatchers become of age, We've got women who are preaching and up before the people in even larger churches who you go to their Instagram posts or their Facebook profiles and they look like they're looking for husbands. Man, I don't mean Christian husbands. Any leader that does not want to duplicate themselves who are operating in ego and that is the spirit of Lucifer. The question is, what are you wearing? You don't want to be the cause of someone stumbling, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure that you are not the cause for someone stumbling. When we were younger, many of you all remember if you are maybe in your 40s, certainly in your 50s, 60s, 70s, we remember and sometimes grandma or someone would have to hide the, the J.C. Penney catalog or Sears catalog because it's boys, what we do, get in a corner, huddle up somewhere and go to the section where you saw the women's underwear. Why? Because as boys, but no, as males, seeing that would kind of get us a little bit too riled up. Well, that hadn't changed. Just because you are 30 years in the future, that mean that you that those things don't still cause you to notice. Nowadays, it's as though that people have no regards. Remember the statement, leave something to the imagination? Not anymore. We don't see ladies wearing uh, stocking hoses or we don't see them wearing slips. We don't see them covering up this part. As a matter of fact, now this tends to be on full display uh, and whatever you've got, however you, whatever your curves look like, let's make sure that everyone can see them. The Bible's pretty clear when he says, when Paul says for women uh, to adorn themselves modestly or properly with proper clothing, modestly and discreetly. This word discreet means I am certainly keeping some things to the imagination. I'm not showing off things that should not be shown in public, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly things. Other words, meaning not to bring attention to yourself to show how beautiful, how attractive you are. Now, it, it's okay to, to look nice. That's not what we're saying. We're saying to do, do things that bring people's eyes to your body parts so that people can see them, whether, whether you're married or single. Unfortunately, we've got married women doing the exact same Thing. He says, but rather by means of good works as proper for women, making a claim to godliness. There it is. Those of you who make a claim to godliness, there is your marching orders. That's how you ought to hold yourself out. You should be modest in your dress and discreet in your dress, not showing things off. This is not me saying so. This is a command for the Lord. And it doesn't even matter what the size or shape or even the age of a woman. We've got women who want to look a certain way before men. Matter of fact, even stating so. I want the mind of Christ, but the body of a stripper. I want to pray for the sick. I want, I want, the, I want them to be healed. And I want, I want dead to rise. I want the mind of Christ, but the body of a whore. There are those who are older who aren't necessarily a size two anymore. And they don't care. They still want to, no matter the size, still wear fitting, tight fitting clothes at that. So the question is, what has happened? What is going on in our society, especially amongst women, but also among men? And I'll talk about men in a little bit. But what has happened in our society where we think the best thing to do, meaning Christians, the best thing for us is to look like the world, to be like the world, to dress like the world, to carry ourselves like the world, to be sexual creatures 
like the world. In other words, we want to be sexy Christians. We want to show things off, not realizing that we are causing other people who might struggle. We do realize that there are people there that struggle with their lust, who struggle with certain things, and we've got people that want to advertise that. Don't we care about our brothers out there who are struggling or even our sisters out there who are struggling? We want to be something sexy. Why don't we want to just be godly? Why don't we want to please him, but we'd rather please the eyes of other people? We want people to think that that is an attractive person. I get you want to look your best, but at what cost? Are you trying to look your best? No. Are you really trying to just look sexy, your sexy best, or just trying to look nice? I understand taking care of yourself, taking care of your hair, taking care of your figure, taking care of your makeup. I get that. Same thing for men. I understand hygiene and dress. But if you're trying to put yourself on display, then we've got a big problem. Paul puts it this Matter of fact, Peter puts it this way. Peter says that be like the Holy One who calls you. Be holy yourselves in all your behavior, how you dress, how you carry yourself. Remember, the Bible says whether, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Whatever you eat or whatever you drink, those are sometimes trivial things, things we take for granted. Do you think we also should include how we dress? Do Should we dress to the glory of God? So you got to ask yourself this question. Is what we're seeing on the screen, is that dressing to the glory of God? Is that bringing God glory or is that just bringing you attention? Is that making people look at how your behind looks, how your breasts look, how your legs look, how your arms look, how your chest look? Is that what we're, bringing, is that what we're trying to bring God glory? Is that how God gets glory by, by people seeing those things? No, Paul says also in this, give no offense either to Jew or to Greek or to the church of God. Folks should not be offended by what you wear. And unfortunately, they are. We don't care, though, because I want to look the part, just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but that the profit of the many so that the many will be saved. The goal is that people will be saved, not that people would gawk at you and look at you and stare at you and cheer at you and think, man, she still got it. He's he's 40. She's 40. She still got it. 50. He still got it. She still got it. No, let's not do that. How about Instead of showing folks that we still got it, how about we showing we show people that we got him? How about that? And this applies even to the men. The clothes that some of you guys are wearing, you're wearing things that you just should not. Some of you guys work out and you want someone to see that you can work out. Well, how about seeing that you work out in the scriptures? How about showing folks that you understand your word? I understand, listen, being fit and being uh, nice looking, you want to take care of yourself, but at what expense? The, the tight pants, the tight, and I don't know where this phenomenon came from, these skinny jeans and so forth. Listen, you are still commanded. You, the call is still to be holy. Be you male or female, young or old, it's still the same. Not just because your other brothers and sisters who might be struggling are watching, but because God is watching. Amen. Amen.